Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday, October 5th. Total crypto market cap, 2.19 per trading view. We're up a little bit, up nicely from about 1.8 trillion on September 28th, early. So early October has been good for us. Have a look at categories over the last 24 hours. Largest gaining categories are meme tokens. Gotta love it. What's this third meme token here? As well as Olympus, Olympus, Olympus Pro now has its own category, which is awesome. Insurance up 10%, and any detractors for the day. Terra, Gaming, and Cosmos. Terra and Cosmos seem to uh, move together quite nicely. Over the last seven days, crypto has been rip roaring. Gaming up 60, memes up the 40. I think Sheeb um, is up from yesterday. Ooh, the Yoshi token. I'm all over this. Uh, I think Sheeb is... Hey, Julian, good to see you. Yes, it has been a while. I think the Sheeb token is ready to be launched on Robinhood. So I think we had a massive pump yesterday of 84%. Hopefully all the other meme coins follow suit. Here's Yoshi. I've never seen the Yoshi token before, which is very sad. Oh, good. We're not too early. Or, I mean, we're not too late. Do we even have a market cap ranking? We do have a market cap ranking. Started out about 31 million. We're up to about 100. It's on Binance Smart Chain, the Yoshi token. Looking like a yield farm token. Cool. Or actually, no, it's an NFT-based gaming IDO platform. Moving on to DeFi Pulse. Total value locked, 90 billion. Alt down from all-time highs of about 97, 96. DeFi Llama, 190. Wow, 198 billion. That's a massive increase since we last chatted. We're at all-time highs. All-time highs for uh, total value lock per DeFi Llama with Aave leading the way. And Binance Smart Chain sitting around 25 billion. Still hasn't broken past 30 billion um, since May. Looking at NFT sales over the last 24 hours, um, Axie Infinity leading the way like usual, around 20 million in sales, or mid-20s. Cryptodes, 15 million. CryptoPunks, the humanoids, is probably our big outlier here. Um, also good performers. Cryptodes, still obviously doing wonderfully. Um, Galactic Apes and Anony Mice, uh, two good performers. Moving on to high volume outliers, Shiba Coin way up there as it should be. It's up 84%. God bless it. Dogecoin up 15% following Shiba Inu's lead, and then also some other outliers: Polkadot, Filecoin, Tezos, Smooth Love Potion, Cosmos, Avalanche, Polygon. Yep. Great. Moving on to organizations today. Project Discovery. Um, here is context. See what's happening on Web3. Web3. Um, as we, and we can follow any wallets, friends, creators, or DAOs. Let's check out context. Here it is. We could connect our wallet. We could follow punk holders, friends with benefit members, artists, collectors, and then actually see what they are purchasing. So it looks like uh, this punk holder purchased uh, Tony Denza for 42 ETH. Wow, good for him. Max Power purchased a, a Kenny Shotler for $846. Yeah, little elephants. So very, very cool concept here. You can even actually search people in here, like Pranksy. And look at that, I can search Pranksy, which is flipping amazing. So, kind of social media, but more like social lurking. Ooh, Pranksy sold Weavervox. So, it's like social media, but a little bit less. Um, kind of just social lurking, and, and, social, and kind of just blockchain lurking, which is a really cool concept. So... Probably our best organization today, Context. Here's Doji Crew. We have a profile picture, NFT collection. It's done by a famous street artist, I believe. We can earn Doji token, or earn Doji, or excuse me, each Doji earns a salary. For upgrades, companions, and more, we can check out dojicrew.com. There they are. I believe it's the famed street artist, AME72. And... He's been, he or she's been crafting the doji aesthetic for decades on walls and surfaces around the world. Very, very cool. Looks like they're going to have a Zingot token. So, yeah. I think one is minting. Don't know if we've minted yet. Oh, we have. 
Let's see if we can view on OpenSea and see what the floor price is. There we go. We've minted, but we haven't revealed with a floor price of 0 0.06. Moving on, we've got Mechs of Solana. So a profile picture-based collection of mechanical robots on Solana. 8,888 of them. Ooh, each mech will be redeemable for a physical figurine in the future. Very cool. Here's Beyond Human. This is AI-generated uh, pretty much avatars, creating an infinite number of possibilities. They revealed, t they're revealing today, actually. Let's go and have a look at their OpenSea real quick. There it is. We've got 4.4 thousand in supply, 0 0.08 floor price. Um, they're generating AI humanity, infinite possibilities. There they are. They look kind of cool, look kind of weird, to be honest. So that is beyond humanity. AI generated profiles. Hey, CRX, good to see you. How we doing? Next up is Gway Finance, pre-launch, uh, but a path to simple active liquidity management on Uniswap V3. So we've got an asset manager for your liquidity pools on V3. I think this is made by some experts and some uh, veterans in the DeFi and the Uniswap and MEV space. If I press learn more, I actually don't know where that goes. Um, they're going to have an impermanent loss and a profit calculator for us. We can submit our wallet right here. So we can put in our wallet number right here and hopefully get lucky. Submit your NFT and you might get a chance on getting at getting the NFT, which I believe gets us early access. I think they were tired of rebalancing and reinvesting their portfolio, so it looks like they're going to automate it for us, which is wonderful. So how do I join the greatness? You need an NFT as an invitation to join their vaults. So get an NFT, and you can do that by submitting your wallet here on their on their website. So I'm always bullish on anybody building on Uniswap v3, and that is Gway Finance who's doing just that. Moving on to... Adorable Alien Club. Looks like we've got 5,100 adorable aliens on Ethereum. Free to mint for um, the end project holders, which is nice. Hey, Port City. Good to see ya. He's bullish on Pop Network. Ooh, interesting. Next up is Strange Attractors. Simulating chaotic three-dimensional systems directly on the Ethereum blockchain. These look pretty cool. Ah, uh, yeah, Julian, I feel you. Asking for emails to match a wallet. Here we are. We've got some ad abstract generative art here. Um, and I think we've just got a landing page. Cool. So release dates TBD for strange attractors. Next up, we've got Byte, Bit Byte Bin. I'm actually kind of bullish on this one. We've got a metadata project on Solana. Um, it's literally a collection of 1,000 generated bytes in bits in bins with the image data stored on chain as a base 64 URI. So if you were to buy one of these, it literally looks like that. Um, so it's just an NFT uh, with bytes and bits with zeros and ones. Um, I believe their point is to be as generic as possible so that the permeations or the ability to create um, derivatives and things on top of bin um, is as wide as possible. Let's see if we've got a website. Where's their website? I swear. Oh, we can go to the Magic Den Marketplace real quick. They had a really nice website. Um, but... There you go. Here's a first good example. Some algo art from an upcoming byte, bit by bin collector and for holders. There you go. Some little generated thing. There it is. There's the website. Here is the website. Ah, Port City. I've just been, just been investing away, doing a bit of traveling as well. So took a, took a few days off from crypto the last couple of weeks. Also, these YouTubes are just getting uh, tiresome. Uh, I want to. I want to make it far more communal. Here is the website. We're all sold out. And here is the price. Oh, awesome. So we've got a floor price. Floor price is sitting around 4.55 sold at the moment. Cool. That's actually a steal. Um, I would go and scoop that up. And if that's still available when I'm off this call, I might be doing that. 
that thing will be gone. I bet you it's not the rarest, but, you know, there's only a thousand of these bad boys. Cool, so we've got 18 um, listed here. Yeah, I'm bullish. Uh, I snagged one yesterday, and I'm going to try to snag one again later. Moving on to Forta. Real-time threat detection for smart contracts. This is cool. It's a community-based security protocol for the decentralized economy. So everybody working together, or at least these people building real-time threat detections for smart contracts, incubated by Open Zeppelin. So, pretty cool. I think we'll see a lot more of that in the future, community-based security protocols. Moving on to autonomy, decentralized automation, backed by consensus um, at Techion Accelerator, which is an accelerator. Yeah, I, I like Avalanche NFTs. I'm a holder of one of those little um, Avalanche bears, I believe. I think they're bears. Or Avex apes. Um, I think they will. I think Avalanche is going to have a, a have a lot of use cases, and there's no need, um, there's no reason it shouldn't have NFT use cases, I think. Here's Autonomy, nice little website. We could test out a demo, but it's decentralized automation, grow your user base and volume with Autonomy, backed by consensus near protocol labs. Looks like they're going to be creating automated loss prevention, limit orders, and permanent loss protection, recurring payments, all the good things that I want uh, for our DAO, and pretty much just to be able to automate a lot of the operational stuff. Oh, yeah, I got the wrong A Avex punks. I kept buying Avalanche punks, and now no one wants those. Everybody wants the Avex punks. So well done getting the right type of punks. Here's Aero Markets. Speaking of Avalanche, this is an efficient cent decentralized settlement system allowing users to create options. So we have an options con or an options platform coming to Avalanche. And here it is. Clean little website. Um, they're calling themselves Aero DFMs or decentralized financial markets. Cool. Do they have a public team? There it is, public team, started by Patrick and Edward. Awesome. They're both financial economists. Uh, they met at Cornell's Initiative for Cryptocurrencies and Contracts in July 2020. Awesome. Cool. Ooh, got a nice roadmap here. Sweet. We'll see if they launch by Q4. Next up is Cute Chicks. We got 3,000 Cute Chicks hatching beginning on November. At, hatching at the beginning of November, so in, in a month from now on Ethereum. It's a women-led project. Website's coming soon. You can join their Discord as well. Next up is Cypher Humans. 8,800 cypher humans living in their own cypherverse. I think they got a bit of a cryptic website. Hey, what's up, Natty Bogle? Good to see ya. The year is 5,800 in this metaverse at Planet Cypher. And I think it's going to be a game. Um, not too much to figure out. You would choose a faction between citizens, soldiers, philosophers, and other members. Let's see if they have a public team. There it is. We have three people on the team. Public team. There's Frederica. We've also got Val. And we've got Mathis. So, cool. So, from Cypher, Cypher Humans, profile picture collection with their own metaverse, public team. Sweet, Natty. Moving on to Sporos. I really like the artwork here on these guys. This is 9,000 generative NFT collection. Um, we can check. Let's just check out their um, OpenSea collection page. Their artist is Scott Georges, who looks like a freelance artist. And here are the little guys. They're kind of cool. So I don't think we've launched yet. Here is the website. Very, very cool um, kind of terminal-based website. Hmm. So 
So, yeah, it's got a little um, terminal-based kind of cryptic website as well, which is cool. And now I can't get off this page. There we go. So Sporos, um, coming soon. 9,000 generative avatars. Moving on to Rick and Morty Paradox. I think we got some generative Ricks coming soon. Here's the Rick portal. You can enter the portal. Join the Discord. It's going to be a thousand different Ricks as part of the Citadel of Ricks, I think. It's going to be an adventure. Looks like there's going to be a thousand Mortys coming in Series 2. And then also a thousand spaceships as well. I think this is all on Avalanche. So it looks like if you buy the Ricks, you'll be getting a Morty and a spaceship as well. Each Rick will be sold at 2.5 ETH. Cool, and they got a little roadmap here. Looks like once all 100 percent of sale are sold 400 avalanche will be used as treasury liquidity pool cool next up is mix mob a play to earn game set in the near future that revolves around one question what would you do if ai deleted our culture not much to know here i think this one is also stealth and very cryptic we've got another um i'd have to insert my user discord username and see if I could get in so you could go and try that. Looks like we got a countdown over here too. Up in the top right hand corner. So another cryptic one with mixed mob. Here we've got CoinShift. They've just raised money and rebranded from Multisafe. So smart treasury management for company and DAOs powered by Gnosis Safe. Here's CoinShift.xyz. And right now I think we could go to the dashboard if we had a Gnosis safe. We could actually link it up with CoinShift, but I don't personally. But here's pretty much some mock-ups of what it would look like. Um, kind of a total balance, spending limits, income and expenses, recent transactions, your assets. So a clean way for um, treasury management for crypto organizations with CoinShift. They raised 2.5 mil. Next up is guest finance. Borrow and lend crypto assets on Phantom. So we've got a pre-launch lending and borrowing app platform on phantom i think they're doing an airdrop too if i go to their medium page and i do an airdrop search boom airdrop so the airdrop's going to go to stk ave holders eps stakers on bsc on binance an initial airdrop would be distributed to vecrv and cvx holders who vote, and also LobsterDAO NFT airdrop receivers, which is known to be one of the most active and engaged DeFi communities. Dude, where's where's the crypto cartography NFT airdrop? I guess we don't have an NFT yet, but we are also one of the most active and engaged DeFi communities. <laughs> but that's cool. We've got an airdrop here for guest finance pre-launch on Phantom. Moving on, we have OnChain Collective. I aped into this yesterday. We've got an on-chain generative art collective, um, fully on-chain, which is a big thing. Um, we're all learning that we will, investors and I guess um, crypto nerds will pay premiums. So will I. We'll pay premiums for fully on-chain um, artwork and NFTs. So here is their first collection, Flowers. You can see it says OCC number one, which makes us assume that there'll be OCC number two. So this is the fully, fully on-generate fully on-chain generative NFTs for you. All flowers have been minted. We can view on OpenSea. And here are our flowers. I think they minted at like 0 0.025, and now the floor price is up to 0 0.045. So, yeah, little, little generative flower, guys. But the key thing is they're fully on-chain. I was wondering if people had issues I've seen some NFT projects that when you come in and you click properties, you come down in here and instead of it saying like lipstick pink or normal or bird of paradise and actually have a description for the metadata, I've seen some recently that just have one, two, three, four, five. So if they have five backgrounds, it'll just say one through five of their background color. And I was wondering if that frustrates you guys as investors because it looks lazy to me. Um, OCC is not the case. They have named all of their metadata but I have seen that from others. So that's on-chain collective with their first 
fully on-chain generative collection. And I think it'll be the first of many. Next up, wild and west NFTs. Not much to talk about here other than internet computer. So we're over on ICP, we're over on Definity. So if you're an ICP or Definity fan, it's kind of, you must be a fan of Wild and West. Moving on to Rogue Titans. This one's very cryptic as well. Um, I believe we've got like a Discord of about 1,500. I think we've got an organic community building. We've got two days and three hours until our launch. Rogue Titans is a stealth launch multi-stage NFT ecosystem, utilizes many different mechanics and technologies. Very cool. Ooh. Currently in its early stage, the prologue will allow Wanderers, which is another NFT collection, to enhance their reputation within the Rogue Titans community and eventually acquire an exclusive token to be used in future sequences. Awesome. Cool. So we either have Wanderers from the NFT collection or Rogue Titans are creating their own new Wanderers. We could connect to our wallet and something's happening in two days for Rogue Titans. Also, we've got Daybird Fight Club. 9,000 generative birds. They look pretty cool. They minted yesterday. Public mints today, actually. Um, actually, right now. The public mint is in six minutes. So let's check out the website because we might as well. Looks like we've had 4,600 of the 9,000 birds have flown from the coop. Looks like we're actually minting in 36 minutes because we're minting at 12.30. Oh, Pacific time. Excuse me. We're minting in three hours and six minutes. Three hours and 36 minutes. Cool. Yep. They were going to drop at noon, but other things are dropping at noon, so they're going to drop at 12.30. Also got Paladin Pandas, which have seemed to have a nice um, reception on Twitter. An NFT collection with play to earn and rogue-like game. Sold out in 32 minutes. 32, 31,000 people in the Discord. Wild. Let's check out the OpenSea and we'll check out the website. The OpenSea, we're sitting at about 0 0.25 per panda. The pandas look pretty cool. Sweet. Here's the website. Looks like mint price was like 0 0.03. Very, very cool. Cool website. Here's all the different types. Awesome. Looks like they're going to all have different types of... Um, army classes for all these different little pandas so it looks like we got an army game around these pandas as well they're pretty good looking i think last one for the day is non-fungible fungi kingdom of 10,000 unique 3d animated mushrooms strolling through the ethereum blockchain have a look at these guys these guys are just like hopping around they're kind of cool They're kind of funny as well. So we'll see how they do. Pretty interesting little video. And that's about it for today. Thanks everyone for being here. Really appreciate it. No, we don't do these too often anymore. Um, please come in the Discord. would love to chat with you in there. We'll be in there today. And that is about it. Alrighty. Thanks everyone. Really appreciate everyone that's been here um, the whole day. And obviously anybody that's part of the community. I will see you in there. Bye for now. Yeah.